Hello everybody, my name is Jacob from The Dry Paint Pot and welcome to episode 10 of Hobby Mistakes, the show where I make all the mistakes with my models so you don't have to. Now today I decided to try my hand at speed painting for the first time ever, so stick around. Now, I've never speed painted before, and I was inspired by Scott the Miniature Maniac to just give it a shot. And if you've never heard of him before, check out the link above. He's really an amazing painter, and his channel was one of the reasons why I decided to start making my own videos. So the big question of the day is why would anyone speed paint? Most of us like to take our sweet time with models because we want to produce the best painted mini that we possibly can. Now, brushes, paint, and minis are pretty expensive. It all adds up over time, so speeding through it kind of feels like a waste. Now, think of this for a second. You're playing a tournament in one hour, and part of your score depends on your painting. And your army is perfectly painted, except you forgot one model. Now, this actually happened to me. And when I went to get judged for painting, my army could not get judged because I forgot to paint a model. I technically didn't have a full painted army. It's a major bummer when you have everything planned out and you worked really hard on your army, but you miss out because you forgot one model. Now, this is where speed painting comes in. And the same thing goes for like, if you're an orc player, you know, if you're an orc player or, you know, someone with a horde army, you're working with a lot of models. I mean, I've seen like a hundred or more orc boys on the table and I don't know how someone could spend, you know, a couple hours on each orc boy unless you plan on painting your army for like the rest of your life. It's just not a good plan. Now, batch painting and speed painting come in to take care of that, to get through the models to where they look really good, but also they don't take you forever and you can move on to your next project. But speed painting isn't all about just painting really fast because it takes a lot of prep work to do it effectively. Now, before we start speed painting, we need to prime our models. And the fastest way to do so is either with an airbrush or a rattle can. For those of you who are priming your models by hand, I definitely suggest using one of those two methods. Not only is it faster, but you're also going to get a more even base coat to start with. Next, it really helps to think up your color scheme before you start painting. You know, put aside the paints that you think you might want to use and just plan out your model. You know, look at all the different parts, write down the names of the different paints you want to use or you need to buy and get that all set up ahead of time. The last thing you want to do is waste a ton of time digging around in your paint drawer or finding out that you're missing a paint that you really need. Now, do something that I talked about in my very first video, which I'll link right up here somewhere, and consider your layers. In short, think of the order in which you're going to paint the different parts of your model. It'll definitely speed up your painting. Now, I was going to just set a timer and start painting, but I know myself. If I don't have some kind of pressure, then I'm gonna get really relaxed with my painting and spend way too much time on certain parts and it's gonna go from like a speed painting to just like a normal paint video. So to spice things up, let's throw 45 minutes on the clock and see what happens. I first darken the stones on the base because I plan on dry brushing them with a lighter gray in a little while. I next decided to do all the flesh, skin, whatever a mushroom is made out of, I, I don't know. But I did that with Rackarth flesh. I know this would take me a while, so I thought it would be better to knock it out ahead of time. Thank you. 
Now this is where I made my first mistake. I watered down my paint too thin and applied the first layer with an old beat up brush. My bad first layer led to me having to apply way more layers to blend things out. This of course slowed me down. Once I was happy with the skin, I used a smaller brush to touch up any spots that I missed and clean up any paint that spilled onto the base. And this is where I made my second mistake that sort of worked out in my favor. I decided to dry brush the stones and when I did, I realized that my dry brush was dirty. Like remnants of green paint transferred to the stones, but somehow it kind of just worked, so I like it. I dry brushed before I washed the stones because I knew that I wanted to do a thick wash to really darken everything up. This thick wash will take forever to dry, so I wouldn't have the time to wait and dry brush later. While I wait for the red to dry, I decide to give all the skin a good wash in Agrax Earthshade, allowing much of the wash to pool in the recesses. Instead of doing a bunch of fancy blending, I decide to dry brush the top and sides of the mushroom with a mix of corn red and evil sun scarlet. I finish this up with a glaze of that same mixture.
Once I applied a wash of Nolan oil, it all came together. I next went over the raised areas of the skin with a highlight of Rackarth Flesh. Since the skin was washed, this layer blends in just enough without requiring any fancy blending skills. At this point, I was technically done, so I decided to add some extra touches. I first threw down a gloss coat on the mushroom cap to add a better variety of texture. I knew that if I had enough time left over, I was going to give this little guy a mustache. With a dab of Mod Podge and a sprinkle of static grass, he was complete. I gotta admit, painting to a set amount of time is super stressful. I kept finding myself checking the clock and it, it sort of psyched me out. And because of that, I was a little sloppy with my painting, but overall, I'm happy with how little Steve Harvey turned out. I'd be proud to throw him on a table or even in my glass case. I think I'm gonna stick with taking my time and at least doing some batch painting to try to speed up the process, but I think I'm gonna also do some of these speed paints just to see how fast I can paint for fun. I have a ton of Reaper minis that I haven't touched in years, so I've got plenty to work with, and if they get ruined, well, oh well. I hope you all enjoyed my first speed painting video, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Now let's check out this week's viewer submissions. This Skink Warchief is by Slappy Paints, and my god, it looks awesome. 
Uh, not only does the skink look great, but the amount of detail work is crazy. And from the Honey Bee Crafter, we have an adorable little mushroom guy. I mean, look at those eyes and tell me that isn't like the saddest and cutest thing you've ever seen. It really turned out great and keep up the great work. And as always, feel free to share any of your work with me at the Dry Paint Pot, both on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be picking my favorites each week and featuring them in my upcoming videos. Now wash your brushes, clean your paint pots, keep on painting.